Hey, what's up, you guys? WWE Fan 0599 here again, and today we're going to review Back to the Future Part 2. So, Back to the Future Part 2 stars, you know, Michael J. Fox, Christopher Lloyd, Leah Thompson, and uh, Thomas F. Wilson, I remembered what his last name was, and what this film is about, it's about, you know, Marty, Doc, they have to go to 2015, yes, this year, 2015, to, you know, they have to fix something with Marty's son in the future, and while they're there, something, I won't really spoil it, but something happens while they're there, and it messes up 1985, to make an alternate 1985. So, what I think of, you know, Back to the Future Part 2. I honestly love this movie. I don't get why not that many people like this movie. I know there are some people that think this is the weakest out of the Back to the Future movies. I'm like, really? Like, this movie's awesome. Sure, it's not as great, well... It's not as, it's not better than the first movie, hey, but guess what? People need to learn this. It didn't have to be, okay? It was still an awesome sequel. I still love Back to the Future Part 2. So let's get into my positives, and my positives are the acting with the film. The acting is great, of course. Of course, Michael J. Fark. Michael J. Fox as Marty McFly. He's great. I love Michael J. Fox as Marty McFly in this film. He does such a great job. You know, like I said, it's his best role. He's great in this movie. You know, he did a really good job. Not only was he playing himself, he was playing himself in the future. Like his older self in the future, his son. Just, he was playing all sorts of different roles in this film. So, it was cool to see that. Definitely Michael J. Fox does a great job. Christopher Lloyd, of course, as Doc. Where we're going, we don't need roads. Just awesome. But Christopher Lloyd, yeah, as Doc Brown, he's awesome. I love Christopher Lloyd as Doc Brown. Just su does such a great job in the film. You know, Leah Thompson, although she's not in the film all too, too much, she still was good for what she had in the film, I still really enjoyed her, Tom Alf Wilson as Biff, he was awesome, I thought he did a great job, you know, he did such a great job as Biff, of course, and, um, so yeah, just the acting was great, you know, just like the first movie, the whole time traveling aspect, where not only can you mess up the past and mess up the future, but you can mess up the future and mess up the past, which is kind of what it's telling in this film. If you mess up the future, you can mess up what's going on in the present. So, I like that, and I like seeing that, you know. I, I, I'm very interested in that, and I like seeing that in this movie, and it's definitely great to see. So, yeah. The writing, the writing's absolutely incredible with the film. I thought the writing was absolutely incredible with Back to the Future Part 2. The directing, the directing is absolutely incredible with uh, Back to the Future Part 2. Of course, it is directed by Robert Zemeckis, who directed the first movie. He did such an amazing job directing this movie. It's so beautifully directed. You know, so yeah, just so beautifully directed. They, like, they do use visual effects in this film, like, like, visual effects for, like, flying cars and stuff, and I actually, I still think it looks pretty good for something that came out back into the late 80s, it still was pretty good, I will say, you know, if there's some person that's like, eh, that wasn't too good, I maybe could see why, but I thought it was actually pretty good for a movie that came out in the late 1980s, it isn't amazing or anything, but it's pretty good for what, something that came out in the late 80s, so yeah. The pacing is pretty good with the film, you know, the pacing was pretty good with Back to the Future Part 2, so yeah. However, I do have two negatives with Back to the Future Part 2, and my negatives are, it does get boring at parts, there are some parts where it is slow, I thought I could have picked up more, you know, just some slow parts, mostly they're in the beginning, you know, there's just some slow parts in the beginning that I just thought I could have picked up more. And Gr Griffin, I think his name is Griff Griffin, I think. He's Biff Tannen's, like, grandson or son in the few, in 2015. He, he, did, he was just so over the top. I don't know what Tom Elf Wilson was thinking. He was very over the top, very goofy, very silly, just 
garbage, really. That was that was horrible, honestly. That that was just really bad to watch at times. Whenever I saw like hit like Griffin on screen, it just really was. So yeah. But besides that, I love Back to the Future Part 2, and honestly, it's one of my favorite sequels. I think Back to the Future Part 2 is a great sequel to its original predecessor, and it just is a great sequel. I love it, so yeah. So it's time for my official grade on Back to the Future Part 2, and my official grade on Back to the Future Part 2 is an A-. minus. I love Back to the Future Part 2. Like I said, such a great sequel. Def definitely one of the best sequels and my second favorite out of the Back to the Future films. So, yeah. So, what do you guys think of uh, Back to the Future Part 2? Leave it in the comment section below. And I'm WWE Fan 0599, and we'll see you all tomorrow for my review for Back to the Future Part 3. Peace.